Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to go through another way that you can set up your interactive brokers for scalping efficiently. So I know I showed you in a couple videos back that I set up my hotkeys and my stream deck to those hotkeys to be able to scalp on interactive broker brokers uh, very fast, very efficiently. Um, I did find another way to scalp on there as well. A student of mine actually taught me this and it's really efficient and it's very easy to set up and it's just a click of a button and you enter and you exit. So I wanted to show you guys this way as well because some people don't like using hotkeys or some people don't want to invest in a stream deck, which I totally understand. So I will, get, I will show you guys this way as well. Huh, I don't know why I'm talking like talking so fast. I'm out of breath, but um, I will go ahead and show you guys that as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more content. And yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, here is my interactive brokers. I just opened a new little tab down here. You can do it in any of the tabs before, but I started a new tab just to show you from start to finish how to create this. So what we're, gonna, what we're gonna be using is called Book Trader. Uh, so what you wanna do is you wanna go and just set up your interactive brokers how you usually set it up. Uh, I usually set up, so I'll go to new window, I'll put op an options chain on there, obviously. So we have our little ops. And I'm gonna pull this down. So here is our options chain and you can edit it however you want, however you usually edit your options chain because I usually take all of this um, off. So ask size, I delete that. And then this is usually what I'm looking at. Um, the open interest volume, the bid and the ask, okay? And then, so this is on one side. And then on the other side, you want to, I have my, whoops, not this. I mean, you can have that one, but I have my chart. So I go down to chart here and I'll put a chart of the stock in the middle here. And like I said, this is a really customizable window, so you can do it however you'd like. This is just how I do it. And then I'll go back into new window and I will add um, my watch list. So up here, I'll put a little watch list and then you can configure this with all the stocks that you watch, et cetera, et cetera. And pull this up a little bit. So, whoops. So what we're really going to be focusing on is a book trader. I just wanted to show you guys kind of a recap of how you set this up again in case you guys didn't see the last video. Now I'm going to make this a little smaller. Okay. So then you want to go into new window and you want to come down to book trader. Okay. So we'll add book trader here and this is what we're going to use to enter and exit or our trades. Okay. Pull it up here. You can configure it again, however you'd like, however big or small you'd like it to be. Close this. All right, guys, so the next thing you want to do is to edit your buttons. So what you want to do is come into your book trader and hit configure. Once you hit configure, you're going to get this uh, little screen and you're going to come over to the left side and it says book trader. And you're going to move down to buttons and this is where you configure your book trader buttons. OK, so the first thing you want to do is we'll come over here to new select action, we're gonna do a buy order, and you'll get this screen, okay? First thing you wanna do is you wanna uncheck generate label because we're gonna put our own label on there. And let's say you want this buy button to purchase two contracts. So buy two, we're gonna change the background color to green, I always keep buy at green. And then you wanna come down to customize action. The action is gonna be buy. The size is going to be absolute at two. And the order type is going to be limit. We always use, I always use a limit order. And then you're going to fill in at the ask price. Okay. 
and then you're going to come down and you're going to click transmit the order instantaneously. This means that you won't get any pop-ups. It'll automatically put the order through, which is what you want, especially when you're scalping. Okay. And then you hit OK. There's your first button. So now let's say that you want to uh, generate a sell order for the same action. So we come into new and we scroll all the way down to sell. Oops, right here. And you'll get the same screen. Uncheck generate label, sell two contracts. And I'm going to set the background color to this to red. Action is going to be sell. The size is absolute value of two contracts. Order type, again, I use limit orders. And I sell at the bid. Okay. You want to come down to transmit the order instantaneously. Check OK. We hit OK. There are our two buttons. You hit apply. OK. And there are your two buttons. So, all right, guys. So, once you have those two buttons set here, and let's say you want to trade NVIDIA. So, once you click on NVIDIA, if all of your windows are linked, um, to the same color. So this little uh, icon here top at the, at the top right corner of this window, it says group windows. Make sure that all of your windows are the same color. Mine are all set to green. So when you click on any of your, um, uh, your ticker symbols in your watch list, everything should update to that ticker. It's chart updated, the options chain updated, and your book trader updated. So let's say you want to trade Tesla 950 call. You select 950 call on the option trade, click it, and this should update automatically to Tesla 950 call. Okay? If you want to purchase a call, you just hit buy, your buy button. Once you want to uh, exit the position, so you would hit buy to purchase it, automatically put it through. And then if you want to sell the position, make sure that you again click the same contract and it says Tesla February 11th 950 call and then hit sell. Make sure that it always is on the contract that you're looking to purchase or um, sell or close prior to hitting the button. Okay, so always double check what contract is on prior to hitting the button. And again, you can put as many buttons here as you want. Just go into configure buttons and you can add another button. Let's say we want to do another buy order and this time we want to buy. So again, change the background. This time I want to buy five, okay? Absolute five, a limit order at the ask, transmit order instantaneously, okay, apply. Hit okay and there's your buy five. All right, so this is a really, really simple way to configure if you don't have a stream deck, if you don't like using hotkeys, it's very easy. Some people just like to click around um, instead of using hotkeys. So you can use hotkeys with Book Trader as well, uh, just like you can use it with Options Trader. You can use hotkeys if you'd like. If this window is a lot cleaner than the Options Trader window, it's really up to you. Um, I like to use both. It really just depends. If I have, if I'm on my MacBook. I will use a book trader. If I'm at my overall setup, then I will use the option trader with my hotkeys in my stream deck. So I wanted to show you guys both of these ways just so you have kind of an understanding of how to set it up and the different ways that you can set up interactive brokers because interactive brokers is very, very customizable um, with its platform. It is a little bit outdated in its UI, which is why I use Thinkorswim to chart, but overall the fills are amazing. It's a very customizable, the setup, if you have, you know, you're only trading on one or two scre screens, you can really move the, um, the boxes around however you'd like just to fit your overall format of trading. So make sure once you're done editing everything that you come over here and you lock your workspace, it will just save it as that workspace every time that you log in. All right, guys. So hopefully this was helpful. All right, guys. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, any video suggestions, please feel free to comment down below and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.